The next key we're going to talk about is the track mat. The track mat is basically taking two different shots and then taking a black and white image and combining those two shots by using luminance, uh, basically, or alpha to put the two shots together. So basically, I need three video tracks. So I'm just going to come down here to the light gray area down here at the bottom, and I'm going to right-click and say add a V-track. I'm only going to add one. And so now, if I bring this up, I'll be able to see all three of my tracks sitting right here. What do I want to combine it with? Let's combine it once again with this green screen right here. So I'll just bring this in and I'll size it up right here over that shot. Now to combine these two shots together is once again very simple and edious to be able to do. First off, I need my shot in between. So I'm going to come in, find my track mat right here, and I'm going to bring my track mat down in between. So I have three different layers sitting here. I have her on top, I have the black and white image on the middle, and then I have my other shot down below. Now I want you to notice here that it's standard definition. I'm going to go ahead and use it just with standard definition because you'll see how it works here anyway. But now that I have all three of these with one shot on my third track, one shot on my first track, and then my black and white on the other, all I have to do is go into effect Pull track mat down on the top video. And look at that. You can see how it blends in. Now, I can see, though, that it's not quite working the way I want it to work because of that 4-3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in to that still. I'm going to go into my layout tool. And basically, I'm going to tell it to uh, ignore the aspect ratio here. And I'm just going to pull it out. To where now it is no longer in 4.3 but 69. Select OK. And now you can see how those two blend together. Now if I want to, I can go into my track map and invert it. So I can turn it now to where she's the one who's the main object and everything else is just kind of blending in. I want you to see how well that this goes in and blends with that gradient that's sitting inside of there. And you can do it either by luminance or alpha. And once again, now we just play it, and you see that it just plays through. Have some fun with this, because I've known that my good friend Pat Sipes has actually done uh, two or three of these on top of each other with, like, track mat on top of track mat on top of track mat inside of it, which actually could work out pretty cool. Now, if I wanted to take this and actually create something that I could put over something else, I could create a new sequence. And inside of that sequence, I could bring her shot in and, once again, place it just right up here on the top, and we'll just trim it off a little bit. Then we'll bring in the Luma mat right here, do the exact same thing that we did with it before. We'll go into the layouter, tell it to ignore the aspect ratio. Pull it out. Select OK to where I have that there. And then... I could come into the pump house and we'll just pull something down from the pump house right here so we can just see it and we'll just, and then we'll, oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to add another track, didn't we? So let me add the V track, add one, and I'll just lift these up. And then I'll come in and just place this down here on the bottom. Trim it out. And then once again, just go into effect, track mat, pull it down onto the top one. And now we have this effect going on, and I'm just going to go in and once again just invert it. So now I have the sequence that has this shot in it. So I'm going to go back into sequence one right here and go into my bin, and here's my sequence three. I'm going to drop it down just like a normal clip right here on top. And then go into the layouter of that clip. And as you can see, I can take that whole sequence that I've done my track mat in and then place it up there in a picture in a picture. So if I don't want to have to get very complicated on a single timeline, I can just add that sequence, do my track mat up there if I want to put it in a picture in a picture, and then just use the layout tool on that sequence when it comes into my first timeline to be able to do that. But that's how you do track mats inside of Edius.